Okay, here is a diagram I made <clears throat> illustrating the evolution of human consciousness and divine authority. So, um, I will just start at the top here. You can see this guy here, like our great central sun, fragmenting out to the different planets, the different zodiacs, uh, the different stars. And um, here we have light beings um, from the Lemurian epoch. During this epoch, the sun, the moon, and the earth were all together. And um, we had clairvoyant awareness, we procreated parthenogenic genetically, meaning we just divided like cells. And um, actually this was the time when the sun also began to leave the, the moon and the earth together. We were immortal, we were a collective consciousness, there was no individual consciousness. And then we start to move into the Atlantean epoch where the moon starts to divide off from the earth. Um, we start developing material awareness, whereas before in Lemuria, uh, we it was almost like we were blind. We were really just spirit living in a dream. And we started to dream ourselves into existence, into physicality in the Atlantean epoch. And this is when the sexes divide between male and female. Uh, the moon separates from the earth, and we also develop mortality. We start to die and then be reborn. Then we move into um, the post-Atlantean epoch, after the fall of Atlantis, where um, we have Isis and Osiris as representatives in the Egyptian culture of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And they have their divine child, Horus. Um, this is when people were still practicing divine birth. So Isis divinely conceived Horus. And we see this practice passed down to Mary, um, who has Jesus. And as we keep descending into physicality, we lose these pieces of our spiritual connection and we begin to outsource that to people who still hold or supposedly hold that spiritual connection. So we have the priest and the priestess advising the kings and queens. We still have priestesses sometimes giving birth to divine children for um, queens who could not conceive. And then we see the, uh, we see the rise of monotheism um, and the rise of the Roman church. And we start to see these priestesses disappear and um, be sworn to celibacy. They eventually become the nuns and um, we are ruled by the church. So the church is informing our government um, and, you know, these, these forms of rulership descend down to lords and ladies. Like you see the pyramid, it starts to spread out more and more. Um, as we come into physicality, it's like our consciousness keeps fragmenting more and more. And then... Um, we come to a point where people are being labeled witches. Um, we have the Crusades. We have all this persecution based on what you believe. And that's when we see the rise of reason and scientific materialism and the age of enlightenment. So we start to stray away from the church and spirituality and we head more to science. And... Um, we get to this point where instead of listening to the church, it's we're being directed just by the government. There's, there's separation of church and state, right? So it comes to the government. And uh, what we have now is the media 
influencing our values um, based on TV shows, based on uh, the news, and that informs our culture, which then informs our politicians. So <clears throat> when these things start getting really out of balance, um, because we're prioritizing um, our consumer goods, we're prioritizing entertainment, we're not, we're no longer uh, in connection with spirit and nature, um, we have a crisis. And what that does is it drives people into awakening, possibly. And people start to understand sovereignty. So you see the little halos on the people. The halo represents the outline of the sun or the moon, and it represents um, an awakened consciousness. The crown is the crown that is open to divine guidance, where we um, hold our connection to everything. We understand we are connected to one another, we are connected to nature, and we govern ourselves from that knowing. And so now, this pyramid has evolved down to this bottom piece right here where people are having to make decisions for themselves and um what we come to realize is that we all descend from the one and these higher energies these um you could call them angelic hierarchies higher beings all reside within the individual when we awaken. And it will be the people who understand this that, um, or even people who are really in touch just with their connection to others, their connection to their heart, that will be creating these new systems that will make the old ones obsolete and We'll find more freedom and sovereignty, and this will be the beginning of the re-spiritualization of a physical human being. <clears throat>